Progress Data Direct is the world leader in data connectivity, offering the most comprehensive software solutions for connecting the world's most critical applications to data and services running on any platform using proven and emerging standards. Today, we are going to set up an Oracle database gateway connecting to Cloudera 4.1 via the Progress Data Direct for Oracle Gateway Driver. This video will walk through each step of the Data Direct connectivity solution, increasing the value of your Oracle ecosystem by integrating your big data application. We will create a gateway user, execute the installer command, and complete the installation of the Oracle Gateway software and the connecting ODBC driver. Step two is to install the Data Direct connectivity driver, change the connection address for the Hive 2 server, and then run a test connect with the sample program that ships with the driver. Now your big data application is integrated to your Oracle ecosystem. In the second video of the series, we're going to have some fun and make a query. So let's get started. We are going to set up an Oracle database gateway connecting to Cloudera 4.1 via the Progress Data Direct driver. Before connecting, I created a gateway user, Aura 11GW, on the Linux system and set up the environment to run the installer correctly. The installer command is run installer. Log in as the gateway user and then execute the installer command. The installer will launch a splash screen. Select Next and take the defaults. You can use the default path or customize as needed. Select the Oracle ODBC gateway from the components list, then select Next. On the overview page, click Install. At this point in the installation, the install instructs you to log in as root to perform configuration scripts. To copy the script, highlight and select with Control C to copy the script. In a secondary terminal session, log in as root and paste the script. Run the configuration script to configure the Oracle environment. Accept all defaults when prompted. Upon completion of the script in the secondary terminal, go back to the initial configuration scripts window and select OK. The Oracle Net Configuration Assistant will open in a new window. Select Typical Configuration, then select Next. This will complete the installation of the Oracle Gateway software and the connecting ODBC driver. We're now on to step two, installing the data direct for Oracle Gateway driver. Once the gateway has been successfully connected, the data direct connectivity driver needs to be installed. The system in this demo is a Linux 64-bit system with an Oracle XE database. Install the DataDirect driver by running the install script and accepting the defaults which install the full suite of DataDirect drivers. Configure the connection to the Hive 2 server. As you can see in the installation directory, it was installed by default. From there, set up the ODBC environment by editing the ODBC INI configuration file. After locating the Apache Hive data source, rename to Cloudera, as this will be the data source name. This demo's port number is 9321. By default, the DataDirect driver will connect to the first Hive server detected. Changing the connection address ensures the DataDirect driver will connect to the Hive 2 server. That is everything required to configure Cloudera. With the data now configured, Run a test connect from the sample program DataDirect ships with the driver. The SQL prompt shows an established connection, allowing to perform any SQL query against the Hive 2 server. You are ready to federate data from Oracle out to Cloudera by leveraging the DataDirect for Oracle Database Gateway. This DataDirect connectivity solution increases the value of your Oracle ecosystem by integrating your big data application. Don't forget to watch the second video, Making a Query via Data Direct for Oracle Database Gateway. Be sure to check out the additional resources on our website, including our Database Gateway for ODBC tutorial.